Well, update 42 in Bloons TD6 is about to come out and today we have early access to it. So huge thank you to Ninja Kiwi for giving us this early access and allowing you to show you guys what's going to be happening in this latest update 42 in BTD6. And with that being said, we have no limitations on the content. So we can show you guys everything and I intend to do that in this video. So uh, we're going to start off the video with just the accolade system and the player revenue sharing system. Then we're going to check out the latest Geraldo skin, which is the Gentle Monkey Gadget to your skin and i kind of did check it out a little bit and this skin does have a unique cosmetic for every single item in Gerala shop which looks amazing we're also going to check out the latest map which is an advanced map called castle revenge then we're going to take a look at the map editor and a couple of new stuff there and then we're going to end the video off with a brand new well there are actually four new quests but i, I kind of want to show them to you guys but i don't think we're going to dig too deep onto those quests because i do want to play them through when the update finally comes out all right so the first and the key feature the most important thing in this update as you guys might have noticed this update is a little bit lighter on the content side but that's because they spent a lot of time into just making the player revenue share system work so ninja kiwi has implemented this player revenue sharing system in which you guys as the players of this game can actually earn money uh, by creating maps and challenges in bloons td6 and the way they're implementing this is with this accolade system so first off i think that there was this i think that this feature tab didn't used to exist i think it's a new one and i guess this these featured i guess challenges in this case are going to be changing they're going to be manually selecting them probably and this also works with maps by the way and so let me just click on this map because apparently someone has already given it five accolades let me show you guys how it works so uh if you take a look at this top right corner you can see that this thing has like five and then i guess just it's like an emoji at this point so you don't know what it means but if you click this plus over here this is the menu that's going to pop up and this is the accolades store now currently we have 12 accolades to choose from and uh, let's just go through all of them so first one is the cool one uh this one is the love one this one is the tricky one which i guess you can yeah, we're gonna be seeing this one a lot in challenges i guess uh this is the smart one uh masterpiece which is the one that we we saw basically onto this map this is wild uh, mind blown muscle what was this one called this one is called fun uh, this is awesomer this is difficult i like this one this one is probably we're gonna be seeing this <laughs> on a bunch of maps and challenges i feel like and then this one is the beautiful one and then obviously you guys can choose uh, how much money you want to spend and then the most important thing i guess for everyone is that 35 percent of any accolade purchases goes to direct goes directly to the registered player creator and there's this kind of information bar which i kind of want to show you guys which is basically a, a more detailed explanation how this whole thing and this whole system is going to work and so 35 percent of any accolade purchase goes directly to the registered player creator which is the thing that we already read uh, select from the many cheerful animating accolades which is basically the ones that we had in the store each one purchased adds to the lifetime total of that player's content so i guess this is just gonna be if you're a creator you know you're gonna you're gonna get a, a lifetime total of the total accolades that you have um, accumulated over time uh, choose the accolade that most suits your reaction to the challenge or the map uh, and then purchase to apply and then accolades will follow this player's creation wherever it's seen where it's a map or a challenge and then make sure you've signed up to nexus to receive revenue shares for your own creations now this might be a little bit confusing so nexus is a website and this is ninja Kiwi's partner basically in this whole list this whole thing uh, and the i think that they might have liked to put the website in this is nexus.gg but this is still early access so i want to emphasize that i'm not sure if this thing is even live so just wait for the official confirmation the official update when it comes out and then you guys should you know probably like like start checking out and and just start seeing how this sign up is gonna work but yeah that's the platform that they're using and so as we saw this one this one has the masterpiece accolade on it so you just hover your mouse and then you can see the numbers so i guess this person has earned five dollars well actually it's five dollars but there's a 35 percent revenue split which is the highest that i've ever seen i mean that's like super generous you don't even have to do this uh, but they still are doing it and that's just amazing because ninja kiwi is just an awesome company that's, that's just how they do things and it's, it works the same way basically with challenges so you hit the plus and then you have the accolades to choose from then you can buy some then you can give it to the the challenge or the map that you liked or basically you know however it makes you feel you can just give money to the person if you if you like what they made and now let's check out the Geraldo skin and the latest map called castle revenge now this is a remake of an old 
BT map. I, I think it's just called Castle. And by the way, this is a this thing is moving, guys. This thing has legs and it's just going somewhere. Oh, well, look at this map. You guys see the ZOMG skin over there? Well, it's not a skin, it's like I guess leftovers of ZOMGs. So we're traveling something. We're traveling through, I guess, the Moab Bloom graveyard or something like that. I don't know, but this is like super cool. I, I just love the, the fact that we're just going somewhere with this thing. So uh, all right, so we got the money to buy Geraldo, and let me just have him here towards the middle. So he hit our boat tracks. And wait a minute, what is he attacking with? So it's it's basically the same magic type of attack, and he's using some kind of a staff to do so. But look at how this skin looks like. So this is a, a steampunked inspired skin, and it looks amazing. And guys, even though the icons here in the shop are the same, nothing is the same as you know it in the original Gerald skin. So what I want to do for uh, while I'm showcasing this is I'm gonna farm, and I'm actually gonna save up enough money so that we buy every single item, and I show it to you guys. But let's start with the with the turrets, and as you guys can see, this is a complete completely different thing so let me just place one over here and let's just look at it attack maybe i should have had let's place another one but this one's gonna be more towards the back so we can actually see a projectile maybe like like this and is it gonna be able to attack yeah so the projectile is basically these giant arrows and this is guys i i did check out the skin and this is gonna be probably my favorite skin in the entire bd6 there's just so many things and you can kind of understand why they took a while in releasing a drill skin because they had to do a remake onto basically 16 items plus the hero itself level leveling through like 20 levels so yeah it was definitely a complicated one for sure okay you know what actually this is this is not even like an original account or anything like that so we i, I guess no one is gonna mind if we use a bunch of cash drops so let's just make a bunch of money and let's just make sure we get our farming going but also most importantly let's check out the action figures so look at this thing look at how oh wait a minute we're getting some prompts <laughs> so look at how cool this thing looks like Oh my god, I'm just gonna have it like this in the middle and look at this thing. You guys can see it right here, right? It's like a mini it's like a mini statue, I guess like a mini trophy or something like that. But yeah, this is the the action figure. They still kept it as a Quincy action figure, by the way. I mean this could have easily been like a I don't know, like a Gwen action figure, I guess, something like that. But yeah, they just they just stuck with Quincy and it looks amazing. Okay, let me surround the action figure with two farms because this is, I guess this top kind of a uh, uh, pedestal thing is going to be the, the place in which we're going to be making money <laughs> in this game. So let me just have these two farms like this and let's move on with the items. So this is going to be the stack of old nails, which by the way should keep evolving and eventually they're going to evolve into mines. So let's see how these guys look like. So first off, can you guys see them? I think they're a little bit, there's something I noticed is that while you're holding them in your hand, uh, these these uh, items are a little bit smaller, but let me just place one like let's just have one here at the back and see how it looks like it's just rusty old nails But you can definitely see that the texture is different to this one, right? Let's just place like some of them here towards the star But yeah, this is basically I don't think this is like the <laughs> I think this is like the fun one But let's just you know, let's just place everything and this next one is going to be the creepy idol now Look at these guys with the with the plague doctor masks now. These are very cool I really like these ones. Let's just place one of these guys like this and let's place the second one up top like this I'm just hit so we get oh look at this thing now that is a very cool one. And now let's move into the jar of pickles. So now the jar of pickles, again, it's a little bit of a smaller thingy, but let me just let me just give it the jar of pickles to Geraldo. And when you give it to Geraldo, everything gets buffed. But yeah, that's basically the jar of pickles and how it, it looks like. And I never clicked the turrets, by the way, so you guys can see like a, a high resolution uh, portrait of basically how this thing looks like. It looks amazing. Uh, I know exactly what we're going to do. We're going to place a dark blanket over here. And then we're gonna give it the worn hero escape. So how does this thing look like? Is it changed? Yes, it is. It is. I don't think you can see it because my cursor is a little bit too big. But yeah, this thing is changed as well. And then there are no changes. Okay, I, I thought they, they might have done something cute, like maybe with the super monkey or something like that. But yeah, there are no changes to super. Okay, so let's check out the camp potion now. I don't think you guys can see it because again, the cursor is a little bit too big. But maybe there's like a different animation or something like that. But there it goes. I mean, it's the same icon over here. And maybe eventually they're gonna change them because they do have like different portraits for them, right? So eventually, I, I actually do think that they might change them here in the shop, but for now they're just the old ones. And let's check out the glue. So uh, can you guys see the glue? It's a it's a little bit. I'm trying to move my mouse so that you guys can see it. But uh, yeah, this is a different texture as well. So let's just have the glue here towards the side and see how it looks like. And yeah, it's a little bit more of a, a darker color, I guess. Now let's show you guys the sharpening stone. So the sharpening stone again does the same thing, but can you guys see it? I'm gonna. I'm I'm gonna zoom in onto this thing. So again, a little bit more of a yeah, definitely like a like a steampunk, maybe like an and like a rusty old theme going. But I really like how how this whole thing looks like. So let me just give it to this turtle right here, and yeah, nothing changes. So it's basically.
basically sort of the same animation is happening but the the texture and everything is everything is just different okay so it's round 40 so let's figure out a way to defend the mob and i i kind of wanted to save the maelstrom for this specific reason so first off can you guys see the texture of the maelstrom it's kind of this brownish uh, following the same theme and let's just see where these mob class balloons are coming out of on this map or oh, just like a straight line and then where is it going out so it's going out at the top so let's use the maelstrom and the maelstrom actually changes colors which i really really like now that was a, a very nice attention to detail from ninja kiwi and uh something that i noticed which uh i i am not sure how i haven't noticed this in 41 rounds by the way but uh there is a an interactable object i guess here on this map and it is this, this whole kind of a gear thingy at the back so this is like a pressure valve which you can activate for five hundred dollars. So let's see, let's see what this thing does. So it turns the button turns blue, and then what does it do? Like it activates this front part, and it just keeps I don't know. It keeps serving the balloons up to. What is happening? Why? What? What did that thing do? Did that like? Did it slow them down or anything like that? Can I use it again? So it seems to. Oh wait a minute, we're leaking. So let me just do this. Uh, let me, you know what, let me just give the camp potion to a druid so we're not worried about the small balloons. And I have no idea what that thing did, so we're just going to try it again. But it seems to go on a cooldown, right? So it's kind of a grayish now. So maybe it's like a round-based cooldown or something like that. And uh, yeah, let's just keep going with the Geraldo items. So uh, next up, we are going to have the uh, the cherry's Fire. So let's just give the cherry's Fire to like, I guess this druid right here. And uh, yeah, it's it's kind of, it's a little bit different. It has a little hat and glasses on it, I guess. I think the attack is the exact same. So it's just like a different uh, different thingy orbiting around the tower. So I'm just actually have the other one as well onto a super monkey. And then the next one is going to be the fertilizer. Now we cannot fertilize these guys. So we're going to have to place a new farm. So let's place just one like here. And let's get the fertilizer. And uh, I can you guys see it? Yeah, that's the icon basically. So just use it. And it's the old one over here. I guess they could have... Should I keep the icon here or should I change this one to a new one? I think I think you should keep the old one, by the way. And uh, yeah, we have the next thing that's upcoming is the uh, bunny, actually. And we can make the bunny paragon. So I'm actually going to do that. So first off, let's place one of the bunnies. It looks like this. It's like a mechanical bunny, I guess. And then when we get four of these guys, we're going to have the bunny paragon and see how that whole thing works and interacts. But uh, this, this map thingy is active again. Okay, so let's click it and let's... Does the price increase like on? No, it doesn't. So I don't know. Let's use it and let's see what it does. I mean, I can see the front part of the map go <laughs> kind of crazy, uh, but I've, I don't know. Am I missing something? Like, like, am I supposed to time this thing? I, I genuinely don't know. So I'm just going to leave this thing to you guys. Okay. So we do have enough bunnies for the bunny paragon. So let's just buy this thing. And I did lose a couple of lives. So that's a nice excuse to buy the reach of potion. But first off, let's buy the bunny paragon. Let's see how this thing looks like. It's at the bottom. It's attacking, but it's, yeah, it's just like a big mechanic mechanical bunny with i think it, it, red eyes it, it just it, it looks the same as the normal one i guess okay so now before showing out these new items i really want to try and figure out what this button does on this map so we're gonna have the bfb in a second and apparently this thing lasts for a very short amount of time so i'm gonna slow the game down this is the bfb around 16 i'm gonna use it so let's see if this is gonna do anything so maybe it's gonna throw it in the front or something like that or maybe it doesn't work on bfbs or mob class balloons or maybe damages them a little bit i have no idea what's currently happening absolutely no idea i don't see anything changing on the map either so maybe i was thinking like maybe because there's like this like vision blocking but i don't think anything's changing on the map either so i i have absolutely no idea what this thing does but i'm gonna keep using it until we figure it out yeah let's just keep going with these other items so the next one that we have is the uh the genie but we don't have enough money for it we just got the money for it and let's just see how the genie looks like so i'm just gonna place it here in the middle in the range of the village and you can't exactly i don't know what this whole like the base is but you can definitely see that the colors of the genie have been changed it's like this this grayish thingy it's sort of the same but it has a hat now and the projectile color has been changed but yeah it's definitely a new look for it as well and then what else do we have going for i mean let's just do the reach of potion actually let's use one of these guys it's like a syringe by the way and uh yeah there we go so the animation is the same but it's like a different texture as well so i just use the other one because why not yeah it's basically a syringe it gives you a bunch of lives and actually before getting to a paragon power totems a bunch of our items have evolved and they've become stronger so let's show off the evolved versions of our items so first off the turrets which should become yeah they're gonna become red and look at this thing they look so cool come on let me just have a couple of them in the front i'm just gonna sell this dread by the way because we don't need them anymore 
So let's place all four of these turrets. Let's just look at how they look. Yeah, it's amazing. They, they just look amazing. I love this texture so much. Also, the stack of old nails is now just mines. So let's just see how these guys look like. And yeah, definitely. Let's just place it below this one so we can do a comparison. And whatever this is, it looks like a... A, a voodoo doll or something like that what what is even happening over here i i have no idea but let me just actually you know what i see a bfb so let me just use it beneath it and just make it explode and we didn't see anything but basically i don't think the the animation the explosion has changed but yeah the texture definitely is i just place a couple more of these guys and then did these guys evolve let me just see i think they're the same basically they're the same in the basic version so i don't expect them to be evolved in this one and then what do we have oh we have the new jury spar okay so let's check this thing out and this thing is yeah it's basically the same thing but it now i the previous one didn't have a mustache right we do have the upgraded sharpening stone so let's give it to the super monkey which i bought and basically yeah it is it's it's a little bit different than the previous one so let's just use this thing the upgraded maelstrom which now goes oh my god this thing goes hard i love this thing I, especially the attention to detail you know giving it a different color and everything like that and now the only thing that we have left is the paragon power totem so let's buy up gerardo's levels and uh, let's go like this let's finally sell the action figure and let's buy level 20 and bang we have the paragon power totems which look like actually you know what let me just free up us some space for these guys so that we have them here at the middle and this is how the paragon power totems look like which is it's like a bunch of gears that get stacked on top of each other but i don't know it looks kind of cool to me i like the colors actually yellow and and light blue and this is yeah this is definitely without without beyond the shadow without this is my favorite skin in bt6 so uh, with that being said you know this is the new map uh, i have absolutely no idea what this pressure valve does so if anything if, if you guys are seeing anything that i'm not seeing you know just just please tell me in the comments and uh, with that being said let's move on to the other new stuff which is the the map error and the quests okay so before going into a quest i just want to take like a minute to explain to you guys what is new in the error and actually as as usual they keep adding new stuff but the most important thing i guess uh, and and the one the thing that i found really interesting is this it is something that they call interactable area so this is how an interactable area looks like and then when you click this button basically there are a bunch of props which are now called I, i'm not sure if the action props existed because i'm not much of an area guy but let's just pull this thing like this and so you can combine this interactable area with the uh with the action props and so if you go like this and if you set this thing on trigger with the action prop that we just placed um that is the animation that's gonna play onto your area now something that you can do and i really like this thing is that you can adjust the cost of your interactable so basically you can have a lot of these props be removables and this obviously you know this unlocks so much potential and this in these maps is actually gonna be crazy and finally a couple of new quests uh we have the one stop pop shop which Gerardo's quest and then it should there should be a, a, a captain churchill yeah there we go royal tank account yeah this is the the captain churchill quest which is basically like a hero tutorial you guys know how these these ones work and then uh we have two new which i'm actually excited for uh it's one of these is a tail uh, which is it has like a thousand dollars reward but it's basically in the i guess in the realm of scoop stall tale it's basically a story like a little bit of a bloom slower thingy happening with bloom areas and then this other one is the one that i'm really excited about and it's just called phase one and so this is analogous to i guess to the quest uh to the party balloon quest in which let me just find it as this one in which you're just supposed to be the party balloon as many times as possible i really enjoyed this thing and they're doing the same thing with this one with the phase one but instead of the party balloon you're defeating the boss phase it seems like now i have not tested this and if you just go into the rules we're playing from rounds one to 100 so a lot more time i think in comparison to the party balloon uh, i don't see any modifiers or any restrictions besides two banana farms and uh do we hit i'm gonna hit go but i'm not gonna play the whole thing i'm actually i don't even know oh wait a minute you get him on wait it's round infinite 400 hp what is even happening oh my god i don't want to play this thing i guys i'm sorry i don't want to play it I want to play when this thing comes out fully and this is oh my god i'm so excited seeing this 400 hp phase yep this is gonna be a fun one okay so uh, <laughs> i i know that this is like a cliffhanger but i'm gonna leave it at, at here i i'm just gonna stop the video and i want to make a full video when this thing comes out and i don't want to spoil actually too much from this new update but yeah this is looking like it's gonna be amazing and with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this early access video and uh, I hope to see you guys very soon on the channel for, so that we can explore further this update 42.